And I got a Ghostly Adventures board game. So this is called Pop and Race. It's pretty much like, sorry, but Pac-Man's version. So here we have is the board. We have all of the graphics on here. I actually like this one. And here's the dice. You could just push it on here. And inside we have ourselves our game pieces which are in this bag right here. So you can play as purple, green, yellow, or red. And yeah, you just pretty much take all of them to home and you pretty much win, like in the game, sorry. You know, looking back on this game board, I wish it would have been like an original game board, like all the characters or like pieces that you can choose, like from the show. But still, this is still okay, I guess. So, this is like one of the rarest pieces of Pac-Man memorabilia that Ghostly Adventures has ever made. So, I'll probably see if I can find more of these out there. And here I got are some new Pac-Man stickers. These are the same from the 80s except these are a bit different. There's one that says, stay away from my girl. Gol <laughs> He's referring to Ms. Pac-Man. And there's, I'm eating everything in sight. Let's get together, how about it? Ms. Pac-Man plays hard to get, and happiness is a hungry Pac-Man. Yep, so these are the new 80s stickers that I got. Um, I know that there's a lot of them out there, so I'll show you guys more when I get them. I got a Pac-Man and the Ghost Diggers book. So this is also inspired by the Hanna-Barbera version. So as we can see here, we have Pac, Pac-Baby, and the Ghost right here. And so in the book, Pac is just teaching Pac Baby about birds and how to navigate through ghosts. I actually like this picture, all, all of them sticking their tongues out, just being all mischievous and whatnot. And so, just like in the last book, you have to guide them through these mazes. And at the end of the book, they escape and the ghosts get into a lot of trouble as usual. Yeah, so this is one of the last books in the set. I got myself a Pac-Man long sleeve shirt. Yep, so here it is. This is called A Battle for the Ages, Pac-Man, the main event. Pac-Man versus Inky, Clyde, Blinky, and Pinky. Yeah, this is a really cool looking shirt. Um, it's long sleeve, so yeah, it's really hot out here. I'm not gonna wear it, but you guys get the idea. So. Yeah, this is one of the very few shirts that I've collected so far. And I got a ghost plush keychain. Yep, so here she is. Here's Pinky. And let me see. I can tell this is a Japanese exclusive. So Pinky is like all shiny and I actually like this effect and it has like a, a spring little hook on it. Yeah, um, I actually saw Blinky, Inky, and Clyde, but I don't think I saw a Pac-Man in there. I have to double check. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it other than the shininess. I actually like the shininess. Here is a baby Pac-Man poster. So this is the very first time I've actually owned one of these and it's Bally Midway. Yeah, so it's just basically a standard little poster. I absolutely love the look on his face. He is so cute, cute little Pac-Man. Oh, right here is the poster. I just put it right here. 
Yep, it'll be on the wall forever. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be collecting more of these in the future. And I got an 80s Pac-Man plush. Wow, look at this. This is <laughs> absolutely weird. <laughs> so uh, here we have his Pac-Man, and here's the ghost, and this huge eyeball that he has. And it has a string on it, so you can attach it to your door or whatnot. Here's the tag, though it's faded. Yeah, this is the same design as the other plush that I have. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it other than it just has the same design, but with a few details. And here is a Pac-Man book. This one is called Run for Fun. I heard this is a very rare book, so I'm gonna take it out of the package. So here's the book right here. I love all of the graphics on it. There's the ghost <laughs> and Pac-Man. So this book basically just tells you that Pac-Man is going to be running to win a prize. And the ghosts, of course, try to ruin the fun. But of course their schemes fail. I absolutely love the art style. It's just very unique compared to other art styles in the past. So yeah, in the book they try to ruin Pac-Man's plan, but of course it always fails. And I'll be linking this story in the description below. So yeah, I'm still trying to find these books and try to complete the collection of them. So I'll show you them when they're all here. I got myself a Ms. Pac-Man puppet. Okay, so here's the puppet. This is an interesting looking puppet. So it's a hand puppet. You just make it talk like this. And so here's the tag. This was made in the 80s. And it's made by Valley Midway. So what we have on the face is, oh my God, it looks like a, it looks um very uh, uncanny. So here we have is her lipsticks, her eyes. They're actually like plastic. She has the bow on top, and uh, you just put your hand in this hole here, and you can make her talk like this. So I'm probably going to be making a uh, a plush version of this, like a commercial, the, the Ms. Pac-Man commercial with this. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I got myself a... Uh, Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures cartridge. So this is a Japanese exclusive and this wasn't released here, it was released in Japan. So it's called Namcot and I actually like the title and the graphics and everything. There's not a whole lot to say about it other than just the text alone and everything. It's actually a really nice looking cartridge. I'll try to find more of these cartridges somewhere on eBay. And I got a old Pac-Man plush. Wow, this plush looks exactly like this one, except it's, this one's modern and this one is 80s-ish. So yeah, he just has like smaller eyes and a little bit of a lighter yellow and his mouth is like all the way right there. And he's really cute. It looks like a 1980s plush, which I have never seen this one before, but he's really cute compared to this guy. I mean, they're both cute in general. So I might try to find more plushies that look like him on eBay as best as I could. I got a pink Pac-Man Battle Royale plush. Whoa, this is kind of heavy. Yeah, it doesn't have the beanbag kind of material that I thought it was gonna have like the first one. Yeah, see, it still has his mouth and the eyes and the tag is still there. Yeah, it feels a lot heavier than the blue one that I got, but still. Not to mention that the material is a little bit different though. So I'll try to find the yellow and the red one to complete the set. And I got another Pac-Mania joke book. 
so this is another one that I actually found on eBay and so it features more jokes in it there's like a lot of pictures in here yeah this one kind of looks like Paxter <laughs> because of the long nose or whatnot there's a uh, Pac-Man eating Cinderella and um, let's see there's a jacuzzi but it's Pac-Cousy Pac Pac Beth Kids straight of Pac-Man. Wait a second, isn't this like the prehistoric Pac-Man, but they just changed the name? There's a uh, Pac-Mule, Radio pac -Div. Oh my gosh, look at this. She's actually pretty. Packy o Pac-Man disguised as a pizza. Get it? Because his design was inspired by a pizza. Oh, this actually looks like an early version of Obtuse from Ghostly Adventures. Oh no, that's a happy looking Pac-Man. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Pac-Widow. Yeah, it's just a bunch of legs on a Pac-Man. And this last one is just Pac-Man fed up with Pac-Man jokes. <laughs> because, um, you know, he's just fed up with all the jokes that are in this book. So, yeah, these are one of the few books that I actually found. And that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. So thank you all so much for watching and have a Pac-tastic day. Bye!